Have you ever wondered what really happens to crude oil after it's pulled from deep beneath the surface of the earth? Before it becomes fuel, plastic, or chemicals, crude oil goes through a fascinating and highly engineered journey. Let's walk through the full process step by step and explore how raw crude is transformed into a product ready for the global market. The journey begins at the oil well. Crude oil is extracted from underground reservoirs using various methods, natural pressure, mechanical pumps, or enhanced recovery techniques like water or gas injection. This raw oil is usually a mixture of hydrocarbons, natural gas, formation water, and sometimes even sand or other solids. It's far from ready for use. From the wellhead, the crude oil is transported through a network of pipelines or flow lines to a central location known as the Central Processing Facility, or CPF. The CPF is where the actual processing begins. At the CPF, the first major step is separation. Crude oil arrives mixed with gas and water. Separating these components is crucial for safety, efficiency, and environmental reasons. This is done using equipment such as three-phase separators and degassers. A three-phase separator separates the incoming stream into three distinct layers. Gas rises to the top, water settles at the bottom, and crude oil stays in the middle. Degassers help remove any dissolved or entrained gases from the oil and water. These gases, primarily methane and other hydrocarbons, are captured and either flared, re-injected, or sent to gas processing units. Proper separation at this stage reduces volume, makes handling safer, and prepares the crude for further treatment. Even after the initial separation, some water remains mixed with the crude oil this is called emulsion. To break these emulsions and remove the remaining water, the oil passes through a dehydrator. There are different types of dehydrators, but one common method is electrostatic dehydration. In this system, an electric field is applied to the emulsion, which causes the water droplets to coalesce or merge and then settle out of the crude oil. Removing water is essential not just for volume reduction, but to prevent corrosion in pipelines and tanks downstream. Now that most of the water is gone, the next challenge is to remove dissolved salts. These salts are mainly found in the tiny amount of remaining water and can be highly corrosive, especially during refining. This is done using desalters, which are usually electrostatic coalescers similar to dehydrators. Fresh water is mixed with the crude to dilute the salts, and then the mixture is subjected to another round of separation. The salty water settles out and is drained away, while the desalted crude continues forward. Desalting is especially important for protecting refinery equipment and meeting export specifications. Once the crude oil is clean free of water, gas, and salts, it is considered export quality. It is then sent to storage tanks, which are large, carefully monitored vessels designed to safely hold the treated oil until it's ready for export. From there, the crude oil may be transported through pipelines to refineries or loaded onto tankers for shipment around the world. From the moment it leaves the reservoir to the time it's shipped off for refining, Crude oil undergoes a carefully controlled process designed to ensure safety, efficiency, and quality. Each stage plays a critical role in turning a raw, unrefined substance into a valuable commodity ready to power the world. So the next time you fuel your car or use a plastic product, you'll know just how much work went into preparing that crude oil long before it reached your hands.